Yeah. I really, really understand that, you know, you are kind of like hesitate to cut off the attention product. So because, you know, or I think there are two reasons that, you know, you should sell the attention product. One is like, you know, as Mimi said, that but our final goal is leading customers to go to the most or the, the products that you want to sell, which is like a profit one, profitable product. It's something that, you know, you, it's like a preservation one for you, right? And then in order to get that, in order to make customers to, to go to that destination, so you will connect them to like a popular product and also like attention products. So attention product is like the first entry place. So to go to the popular product and then final product. Then the most common mistake is like, you know, if you just giving the free or like if you just give the discount and then you will just attract the wrong persona person who will never buy the, are uh, who will profit, buy the, the full price. Product. Product. Yeah. So as Mimi said, like, you know, if you attract that someone who is like the uh, guy who is like a 15 years old age, this is like, you know, or extra early, uh -huh. but then the, he, will, he will never buy your our milk preservation or product, right? So you always need to reverse engineering, like who is going to buy the product that you want to sell. So this is like a number one. And then actually I want to instart the number two is th that one is like logically makes sense, but actually we also want to see the progress every day and then as a creator or like as a business person so sometimes it's okay to sell something unmeaningful that means that even you know that selling the cheap you know or resin accessory cannot really really contribute your profit but if you want to see the order progress like if you want to get like you know one order every day or like you know several orders per yeah, week yeah, yeah. then you feel comfortable and then that can contribute your mental health or like you know that are that can motivate you, oh. you to do that. so that's yeah. why like a number one and number two number one is like logically makes sense logically should make sense that which kind of are which kind of people you will attract by using your attention product. And then if those people will not go to the final product, that doesn't make sense. And then you should not do that logically. But but I would suggest that uh, as a creator, as an artist, I really, really understand that you want to see the day progress. Because if you do something, like if you do something, even like meaningful things, but like if you see the progress, I think that would be really, really good for the mental health. For example, for us, like, you know, writing the daily blogs, sometimes it doesn't really, really create uh, our, how to say, uh, the directory sales, but at least that, you know, if we continue to write a daily blog, like every day, every month, and then every year, that can actually make us feel good because we can see the progress, something like, I like that. that. I like that. Uh, yeah, so so all in all, if you want to have like a second part, like it's not really, really contributing the profit, but if you okay. want to like, you know, feel connection to your clients and then at least that you want to make sales every week, you should, you should continue to sell. But maybe the limitation of the number and then you will open only for the loyal clients or something like this. And because you don't want to get so many like, you know, or how to say, like are not, um, not the target person. So yeah, yeah, that's something that you can do. Oh, okay, thank you so much. I think, um, yeah, I think I like that one. Um, because sometimes I, I want to create, but there's no reason to. Mm. Because I mean, I, I don't have any, I don't have any orders. So maybe, maybe I can keep doing the product, um, the quote unquote attention <laughs> products. Yeah. You know, it's for my mental health. And, <laughs> and then I can, I can, because I actually enjoy it. The first collection that I made, I really enjoyed doing it. I actually, Actually, the reason why I opened the the shop was so I can sustain doing it. 
Hmm. Because um, UV resin is really expensive, right? So I said, if I'm going to make this my hobby, then I cannot. <laughs> my wallet's going to be empty. So maybe I can sell sell some of it, and then what what the things that I get back, I can keep, you know, doing it for my for my mental health. That's actually the biggest reason um mm. why I opened it. So I think. Yes, I my main profit would still be the preservation products. Mm. Um, but if I need a creativity boost <laughs> for my mental health, I'm going to, I'm going to. Do I like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah you can make the like basically like it, it, your case is really really simple like you know in order to continue to your artwork so you want to sell the profitable product sometimes but your main purpose is that not like increasing the number of sales of the profitable product but more likely that at least if you have some amount like you know you don't really need a big amount of money so in order to keep your creation you know more time yeah. I like that. I can buy I can buy art materials without any guild. That's gonna be happy. That's gonna be because <laughs> <It's Mimi. laughs> <gonna be, laughs> if Mimi knows, I think. <laughs> it's like yeah. a, like Mimi also Mimi also buys uh, some material and then like you know or that's gonna be that like, sometimes uh, she's doing too much so that's gonna be my headache point. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but but also like Mimi likes. <laughs> You know, creating without thinking, and then sometimes she yes. just relax, and just want to make something that she likes, and then so it's really, really meaningless for the sales, or like for the profit for running the company. But yeah. but like you know, but not directly, but like in order to sustain our business, like me and me, uh, me and Mimi should be healthy and then should be always always motivated so in order to do that that's like a meaningful art creation like I, i'm calling it a meaningful but like a meaningful about profit about like a business it's also I like so i think this kind of balance like a business side and then also your mental also health for me yeah the balance for mm -hmm. all small business owners and entrepreneurs I like that. That's actually very beautiful. See, <laughs> I, as I told you, oh, thank you. <laughs> maybe a good content. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>